managerials. And invading imperials. Are on every day. And you must obey. Watch killer thriller serial. <laughs> what if George Lucas made Flash Gordon? They're going down. Ah, uh, two, ah, uh, two, where are you? Stay alive, calling Dr. Zarkov. Emergency. Flash, you and the force. Girl, we're not doing it. There is no try. Paths of experimentation twist and turn through mountains of miscalculation and often lose themselves in horror, terror, and darkness. No, you're nothing but a freak of life. what would taste good right now to everyone in the car candy we've got your favorite kind at the concession stand come on down and pick out the kinds you want to enjoy during the rest of the show be sure to get plenty because everyone likes candy and our big variety is chosen to please everybody's taste
overloaded and burnt out of connection. Gordon. Hello, Zarkov. Your contra thermal is a success, sir. We've extinguished the projectile. Let us know where any more of the projectiles fall. It works perfectly. We still have two more units. That's splendid, Flash. Two more projectiles have fallen. The locations are two. The connection's gone. Zarkov! Your Highness. A Ming bomber is over the ballot. The crows will take care of it. They've been warned. I'll have this prepared in a moment, Your Highness. That bomber doesn't score another bullseye. You made a direct hit zone, close to the wall of the laboratory. I can see the flash when the bomb struck. There's one of Aaron's ships coming. Two more coming in from above. Surroundings. Zarkov speaking. Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead, Doctor. One of Ming's ships have bombed us. The patrols have driven it off. Good. Now tell us where those projectiles have fallen. One of the projectiles fell about 30 miles west of... I want to make it look like a crash so they won't follow us down. A clear hit, Brad. The last shot finished them. Calling Prince Baron's castle. Calling Prince Baron's castle. Enemy ship met and destroyed. That is all. Get our location. My plan is failing. Projectiles are being extinguished as soon as they strike. Your Majesty must remember that Dr. Zarko is a Prince Baron. The doctor is a clever man. He may have discovered some means of defense against you. Counteracting force is known only to myself. A new cause. You knew and you were alone in my laboratory with Dr. Zarkov before he escaped. If you have dared betrayed any of my secrets to him, I'll... Captain Torch is calling from Arboria, Your Majesty. Get Arboria. Yes, sir. Yes, Your Majesty. We found Prince Baron's power plant. We were attacked and forced to land. You have failed. Zarkov is extinguishing our projectiles as fast as they land. But Your Majesty, we dropped the bombs direct. Get into Prince Baron's castle by any way that you can devise. Learn what the plans are and report to me. The lives of all of you are staked upon this venture. There's no need of all of us going. The ship has to be repaired before we can make our escape. That's right. I can repair the damage while you go to the castle. And you believe this instrument would be effective in an attack upon me? Unquestionably. The difficulty is that in launching its neutralizing cartridge, the gun destroys itself. And the explosion releases a poisonous gas that would destroy all life over a wide area. Oh, but... Of course, it would have to be operated by a fuse. 
Well, if the gun will do what you claim for it, we'll overcome the objection. How bad? There's a desolate stretch of uninhabited land to the west of Ming's capital called the Land of the Dead, to which we might transport the gun and direct it upon the castle. Your Highness's pardon, but would not such a course endanger the life of the Princess Aura? Thanks for considering the safety of the Princess Roko, but she's not in immediate danger. Come on, Doc. You gotta be kidding me. Another week begins. With a bang. No said it. And more field scratching effects. That's all they had then. That contra-thermal thing looks like an artillery shell. Sort of. It's kind of unwieldy, too. Bulky. They could have at least put some handles or wheels on the thing. How rush ya? A carry strap is easy. But not dramatic. I guess. Unmanly. Flash Gord's a macho man. Indeed. So how come he keeps touching the other guys but not Dale? Now was he punishment. <laughs> Fire's out. That's true. Ming's not happy about it. He's never happy. Professor Karm is gonna get it when Ming finds him out. Michael Mark. What's he a professor of? Pseudoscience. There's too many doctors and professors in this movie. Learned men. And they're from other planets. And from Mongo. And Earth. Who is? Professor Zarka, for one. At times. You'd think he could design a gun that wouldn't self-destruct. Guess not. Or lay waste to the countryside with poison gas. Details, details. Baron doesn't seem to be too worried about his wife. He's got flush. <laughs> Two professors were Gordon and Arden, led by John Hamilton and Tom Chatterton, and Brian Folger plays Druck later. Well, now for the rest of the film. <laughs> Oh, you. Of course, but I can hold his attention for a moment. All right. Keep his back to me. It's necessary that I have audience with Prince Baron at once. I will explain everything to his highness. Let me... If you'll go with my prisoner. Yes, the prince will see you. If I'm not mistaken, he'll have you hanged from the highest turret for the abduction of Princess Aura. <laughs> planning an attack, our best defense is to beat him to the punch. If we can place the neutralizer in the land of the dead now, at once. Ming must be keeping a strict guard over Aura, or she would have communicated with us before now. I'll have a ship made ready for the journey. There's something about this gun destroying itself that I don't understand. The Emperor will be unable to put his spaceships into the air, nor to maintain contact with those already there. His water supply will be in danger. Clap your hands! Both of you! What does this mean? You shall be reported. Just a moment, Professor. This is Captain Torch. You have good eyes, Roker. Now stand aside while I destroy that deadly machine. No, no, you shall not destroy him. Suit yourself. You first, and then the machine. Flash, we're not endangering Aura by turning this machine against Ming's palace, are we? Oh, I know, Dale. You see, its purpose is to generate a magnetic influence that will paralyze Ming's power plants and weapons of defense, making it impossible for him to defend himself against an attack. What, what will happen to us in this land of the dead that we're heading for? I've never been there, but I heard tales that at one time it was inhabited by a race of rockmen that long ago passed into oblivion. All right, Torch, you know their destination. Your speed ship will get you to the land of the dead before them. They come, destroy their ship. 
Clench a plastic mine in the vicinity of giant dome rock. It is the only place that Zarkov can direct his new weapon at my palace. It shall be done, Your Majesty. Set it down on one of those narrow cuts where we will not be visible when Baron's ship arrives. We've got enough sin tonight there to shatter a convent. We've got to lay this mine and be well under the air before Prince Baron's expedition arrives. Better place a guard to warn us in case they get here before we're ready to clear out. I'll watch for their ship. latest development. When the ray reaches number five, the blast goes off. This will make our cars nullatory odds useless. All right, men. Cover it up. That's enough. We'll find Sonia and get to the ship. First, discover some cave where we can take refuge from the poisonous gases resulting from the discharge. That's right, Doctor. Your Highness, you remain here with Ron while we know things over. The land of the dead. This is a dreadful place. Why, those rocks look positively menacing. Well, let's get going. Ming may attack us before we've accomplished our purpose. They're right near where we laid the mine. This is the place. It isn't so far from the ship. And there are plenty of caves to take shelter in. We won't have any trouble getting our equipment in here. Now they might find a timer and stop the explosion. to know who we are and where we came from. But why are we prisoners, Arkoff? I think they're blaming us for that explosion. Well, we shouldn't be held responsible for that. No wonder the 
call this place the land of the dead. You can't afford to miss Vice Gordon conquers the universe. Isn't their spaceship airtight? Why not just get back in it? I don't know. I do. It's Lazy Riders. Lazy how? They should have figured out a good reason to disembark. Maybe so. Scouting around for a heave. Relax. Make me. Alright then. Now what was the punishment phase? <laughs> Bastions, combats, syndication contract bids, on the offers of sexual liaison, maybe email to recycle at gmail.com. Thank you very much.